Hi guys, this is Aishwarya from freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. So, the topic that we are going to look on today is probability and we are concentrating more on the ball and the bags problem. So, when you find a probability sum in any aptitude exam, you can always see it's mostly a ball and a bag problem. So, today I'm going to tell you the basic seven types of problem that you can expect in a ball and bag problem. So, let's get started. So, as you can see, I've written the questions. So, we are going to use the same similar type of bag problem for all the seven types that I'm going to discuss. A bag has five green balls and three blue balls. Let's get started with the type 1. So type 1 sum that you can expect in a ball and back problem is N sum. So let's get started with the question. So the question has 3 balls picked at random, probability that 2 are green and 1 is blue. Okay, so the question has total balls is 3, out of which what we need to choose 2 green and 1 blue ball. So immediately when you see N, multiply the answer. So we are selecting three balls. So a bag has five green balls and three blue balls. So total number of green balls is five out of which we are choosing two. So five C two. And as and is there, we are multiplying it. Similarly, total number of blue balls is three out of which we are choosing one. So three C one divided by what is the total number of balls? Five plus three, which is eight out of which how many balls you have to choose 3 so 8 c 3 if you don't know the formula it's always simple 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 number of times you reduce the numerator into 3 c 1 divided by 8 c 3 which is 8 into 7 into 6 divided by 3 into 2 into 1. So if you solve it, you will get the answer. So let's get started with the type 2 sum. So type 2 is or sum. So the question that you have got is, two balls are picked at random. Probability that two are green or two are blue. Remember the catch word. So the overall question is, a bag has five green and three blue balls, out of which either two are green or two are blue. Immediately when you find the word or, add it. So, the answer will come as, you have to choose 2 green balls out of 5 green balls. 5, C, 2. So, you have or here. So, what do you do? You add. 2 are blue out of 3 blue balls. So, 3, C, 2 divided by, what is the total number of balls? 5 plus 3 which is 8. C, how many balls you have to choose? 2. 8C2. Let's just simplify it. 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 plus 3 into 2 divided by 1 into 2 divided by 8 into 7 by 2 into 1. Once you simplify it, you get the answer for this question. Let's go to the third type of sum. So this is a combination of AND as well as OR problem. So we already dealt with the AND and OR problem separately. Now it's a combination of both. Let's get started. So the question is, 4 balls picked at random, 3 are green and 1 is blue. Or 2 are green and 2 are blue. So the catch here is, people get confused with AND, OR and AND here in the question. So, why are you seeing the question itself? You put the bracket in the question and confirm where you're going to multiply and where you're going to add. So, 3 are green and 1 is blue bracket or will be in between. 2 are green and 2 are blue. Now, we can easily write the answer. So, for first, for this, 3 are green. How much from 3 you are taking? So, there are 5 green balls. So, 5, 3, 3. If you see and, what do you do? You multiply. So 1 is blue. Out of how many balls? 3 balls. So 3, C, 1. Put a bracket. Now or. Or means addition. So you add it here. So 2 are green and 2 are blue. So 2 out of 5 balls we are taking. So 5, C, 2 
multiply because we have and here and 2 are blue. 3 balls we are taking 2. So 3 C 2 divided by how many balls we have? 5 plus 3 8 balls out of which we are choosing 4 balls here. So 8 C 4. Now it's very easy to simplify like we did earlier. Always remember you put the bracket in the correct end or else your answer will be different from the other. So 5C3, 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 multiplied 3C1 which is nothing but 3 plus 5C2, 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 multiplied by 3C2 which is 3 into 2 divided by 1 into 2. The overall numerator divided by 8c4 which is 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Easy right? So today we have dealt with three types of ball and bat problems. As I've told you earlier there are actually seven types of ball and bat problems. So in the next video, I'll be dealing with another four types of ball and back problems. If you have covered all the three plus four, seven types of problem, that's all you can find it in the ball and back problems. If you're a person who's looking for jobs, please register in our freshersworld.com. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Thank you. <music>